Welcome back, Duck fans. My name is Rob Coolish. I'm joined here by head swimming coach Trevor Mealy as uh, he kind of is on the stretch run of his season, getting ready to take both of his teams to the Division Three championships in Knoxville, Tennessee next week. Trevor, congrats on a great season. Thanks for joining me. Well, thank you. Um, you know, we'll start off kind of on a whole. Um, both teams finished second in the Empire Eight, but you guys are sending 17 athletes to the to the nationals. I guess what does that mean for the program and? and kind of maybe sum up the season up to this point. Yeah, you know, I think we've had the best season we've ever had. Uh, you know, when we got here in uh, September, even last year at the NCAAs, we, we set our goals specifically for NCAAs. So, uh, you know, we started telling our kids exactly what we wanted to do, and, 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 the, and the goal was, was to get as many kids to NCAAs as possible. So everything we did to this point in the year was for NCAAs. Uh, it was very successful. We swam great at you know, uh, ECAC championships. We did that. That two-week taper back then and, and qualified a lot of kids, which you know alleviated a lot of the pressure, but also showed them how fast they can swim mid-season. You know, we, we, we actually swam a lot of kids uh, through our conference meet. We actually even bring a few of them uh, with the goal because they already had their cuts. So uh, you know we, we we swam incredibly well at Empire Eights as well, and uh, you know, I, I, I'm really excited to see what we can do at nationals again. From, from day one, we've had focus specifically for NCAA. Qualified one of the biggest groups in the country, uh, which is you know, fantastic. So uh, we're, we're totally excited. We can't wait to, to see what they'll do. Um, you know, something that I, that I've noticed, you have you know a nice group of upperclassmen that have stuck with the program um, throughout their careers, and now they're you know I think there's three or four making their first trip to the to the to the you know to the nationals as seniors. I guess what does it mean to see those kids you know put in all the time and then have it really pay off this year? It's tremendous. I mean, first of all, it's the first recruiting class I ever had at Stevens. So, you know, to see where they came in at as freshmen, to see them mature, uh, both in the pool and outside the pool, and uh, you know, ultimately keep dropping time as they go because they've they've all progressively, especially the kids who are making their first time, uh, the first time trip to NCAA's, they've progressively gotten faster every year, and uh, you know, I think that's a, a huge indication of how hard they work, uh, that the program itself is effective. Uh, you know, it's just it's it, from a personal level, it's, it's awesome to see that you know, how how hard they've worked over the four years, and then to see them ultimately rewarded by getting by by getting by going to that place. Um, nine women, eight men are going. Both teams have been in the top ten around that area all year in terms of the coaches' polls. Um, the men were 17th last year at the NCAs. The women were 12th. I guess. Do you have a tangible goal that, that you can say, I want these kids, you know, I want to finish X in the country um, this this year, or are you just kind of maybe hoping to improve? What, what do you look at as a coach that will say, you know, you know, we had a really successful run at the Nationals? Uh, you know, I think the first few successful thing is, is getting the kids there. I mean, that's it's incredibly difficult to actually qualify kids and, and actually send them. So I think we've probably achieved the, the biggest goal of the program. Uh, but next, you know, we want to be top ten in the country this year. It's, it's attainable. It'll be difficult. I mean, there's some great teams out there. Um, so, you know, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll you know, get right up there. So, right, Trevor, last question here. Um, John, who is, is seated first in the 200 fly, second in the 400 IM, um, I guess, what, do you, what are his reasonable expectations for him? And do you feel he has a real shot at you know, being the first national title winner in program history? Well, it'd be, you know, I think John's an exceptional swimmer, he's a fierce competitor. Really interested to see how he does when he gets to the final. Um, you know, he's, he's seated, you know, like I said, first, he's at first in the, in the two fly, second in the 4 a.m. He probably has a, a more realistic shot to win the 4 a.m. just based off of uh, you know, the guys he has to compete against and his you know, potential upside. Uh, the guy in the 200 fly who won the, the title last year is back. He set the national record by, by a lot last year. So, uh, you know, it'll be, uh, it'll be a great challenge for John. Uh, obviously, we'd love to see it. He's trained. Trained really hard all year. This will be his first real uh, shaving taper meet all season. So, um, you know, I, I, we'll see. I mean, it'll be awesome if he can win. You know, John doesn't lose. He, whenever we put him in a race against some of the best people in the country, we put him in the pool uh, and dual mates, and he's come up big. So, we'll see. It'll be very. Uh, it'll be great to see. Well, Trevor, again, thanks for joining me. Uh, best of luck in the coming week. And you know, it's been a phenomenal season already, and you know, we'll just we'll see what happens, I guess. And, and it, should, it should be fun for you guys. Um, the Ducks, both the men and the women, will be swimming in Knoxville, Tennessee, March 23rd through the 26th, next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. 
Follow stevensducks.com for links to live results and for recaps of each day of swimming.